Where we at, X? Uh, we're right on the outer skirts of Gretna, Virginia. I got a logging job out here that we're going to check out. Uh, get a, a bad turn that we're going to check, make sure the trucks can get around. So uh, right now we're just going into the job site, following one of the log trucks. We're doing a, a thinning job where we're just going through, selecting out, just taking out certain trees uh, to allow the other ones to grow better. This is what I do on outside of racing. Oh man. So this is where we get the Axe Man from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Axe Man was, uh, was actually my CB handle from driving track trailers. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, so. <laughs> I never would have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a lot, a lot of people think that I uh, drag race for a living. I'm like, I don't drag race for no living. <laughs> <laughs> drag race is my hobby. I had to log to, to afford the drag race. Oh, uh, yeah. A lot of people forget about the day jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, drag racing is 10 hours a week. This is 60, 70, 80 hours a week. <laughs> this is where the real work is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're following this truck in. Like you said, we're going to check out this curb and see if see if they can get around here what's going on in the job site they're calling for a lot of rain this week <clears throat> it's not much uh gravel down so we have gravel on the way so hopefully they can work through the rain because every day we miss the bills keep coming so uh the plan is to put some gravel down so they can stay at full production this week nice and luckily i knew all about that and i'm like construction guys so we we definitely know about rain days <laughs> yeah. yeah that's the whole key to making money logging is if you can work the days you're not supposed to be working you can actually make a profit oh yeah and you can you're the only one out here removing parts at that point yes. yeah because <laughs> the payments keep coming you got 30 mm -hmm. days a month and they're gonna come whether it rains or not While this truck's going in, I'm gonna check this deck side out we just moved off of. Actually, how did you get into the logging business? Uh, all my dad and uncles, they all logged. Uh, so just being a kid, being around it, uh, that's all I ever wanted to do. <clears throat> and a lot of my cousins drag race, so I just wanted to be competitive with them. And so as a kid watching them and watching my uncles, I knew I wanted to log and drag race and so i worked for other loggers and slowly in my early 20s i think uh, i just my dad kept telling me i ought to try it so i sold my race car got me a down payment got me a machine and i can sit here and tell you it wasn't a struggle but man <laughs> you learn a lot about an economy when you go in business for yourself people say oh the economy's up economy's down this that yeah, when you got bills, you learn about it. It's like, say, <laughs> yeah. I may be making money this week. One thing pop up on the news and make people think different. Don't buy products. Don't buy stuff. The wood business slows down. Next thing you know, you don't have an income. You don't have uh, money to pay your bills. Yeah, these trees are like, this is when it's done. Once we're back up, we'll just turn on around and look here. Like we came in, all these trees, it was like 600 trees per acre. And we'll cut it down, take go in and select cut it and knock it down to 200 trees an acre, 210, to allow these to grow into actually, uh, actual saw logs. And <clears throat> most of the chipping saw and saw logs go into uh, building houses, uh, decks, stuff like that. And main, the main product we took out of here uh, makes uh, OSB board. 
episode. Oh, nice. Yeah. Huh. We are learning the business today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Usually by day, I'll get up and go check some jobs. And with COVID, it's always someone's got COVID and having, having to miss work. So I'll end up and have to go run machines on certain jobs. Like today, we'll go over and, uh, to a, where a crew former has COVID, and I'll have to run his machine here shortly oh. until he can come back. Yeah, I can't say X Men don't do no work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know which one I'm more addicted to, uh, logging or drag racing. Both, <laughs> both of them, I, I fight back and forth trying to do both of them because I'm addicted to both of them. It looks like you do have a healthy love for both. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> and logging is similar to drag racing because it's very competitive. You're, mm -hmm. like, you're always competing with other loggers in which in our community, I'm friends with all the other loggers. So it's a friendly competition, kind of right, like drag right. racing in a way. Street racing a little different. The friendliness kind of yeah, yeah, got out yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> when you go to the track, it's a little, it's a little friendliness in there. But I mean, the street uh, that's tough there because everyone's always telling you a different story about how uh, the car is slow. That's the last thing you come tell me your car, so I'm not believing you. I don't care. <laughs> you, uh, you tell me, uh, you come tell me, I'm not gonna leave you. I'm not gonna believe you. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. I like, at the track, I got to kind of like there's a little more. Uh, Everybody gets along, but on the street, there's a lot of hustling going on. So oh, yeah, I can't tell you how many times I told somebody I ain't got no little force in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Last one I, I remember, I, I believe this one. He said, I, I got a front wheel drive. I'm like, shit, front wheel drive? I'm not worried about that. The dude rolls up on an all wheel drive. I'm looking at my wife like, no, I don't know much about this, but I think an all wheel drive is pretty bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> and that's after I bit my tune up in my car. Probably not gonna go over that well. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting in here now. I think the driver's turning around and back up. Maybe it's the driver now. Is it not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, alright. That's loading the spot trailer right now. Yeah, loading the spot trailer right now. So I run two thinning crews that basically do this year round. Winter time we have to put them in clear cuts <clears throat> with the weather, but usually they'll uh, thin, just go through and thin tracks all year. Back in the like, I think 1990s, early 90s. Oh wow! So as I got started, Tyrone he come to work for me, <laughs> but I remember riding on machines with him when I was like 10. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy how that comes around. <laughs>
Rows out, so he's he'll cut this row out here, and then they, uh, the skid operator will come back and get it all up, and he'll come back and thin the sides to give the trees a little more room. Yeah. He's like this, the leave trees like that. It has a uh, it's gonna allow this one to grow a lot better, and like that crooked one, them little crooked ones will take all this out. Yeah, strongest. strongest. They grow Either. faster. That's the strongest. Tree. Make more yeah. money. Yeah. And it'll cause the track of timber to grow better and make more profit. Hmm. Oh, I got a bad going up through that way, Will. All right. Yeah. Hey, that's what we rode over earlier. Just <clears throat> well, we rode over just now just to see if it's uh, if y'all gonna be able to get out while it's raining. Mm, I doubt it. Yeah. I wonder if they're gonna hurt us right there in that curve. That's what we're gonna send a couple loads of rock over okay. here and try to cut that down. But they ground hard though. Yeah, because it's calling for two days of rain. Mm. Yeah. This is a bad rig you got here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad rig. How long have you been working in the woods? Man, it's probably about 20 something years. <laughs> Man. Probably longer than that. Shoot, it's gotta be longer than that. I rode on a skittle with you. I remember, <clears throat> I remember we was cutting behind Stanford School. Behind Stanford School, school yeah, at old 540 like, John Deere had uh, flew in the tires. You and Jason were with yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, I think you got on me because I, I had snot out of my nose. I was snot running that one. Get your little snot in his nose. I know I wasn't over 10 years. Eight? Yeah. I might have been 10, 8 or 10 years old. I know, about like 10 or 11. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. So that's been, shoot. 30 years. Yeah. I remember when I came to your dad out looking for a job, you had hair over there to your, I, down oh, your back. Man. I don't know what I was doing without hair. <laughs> Good hey, great. you had hair like that? <laughs> man. I hate when pictures pop up like that. <laughs> yeah, all my old car pictures of uh, like my family working on cars, I have hair this long. I'm like, Shh, man. What the world? <laughs> What you got DeAndre doing? Is he keeping you straight? Or? Yeah, he keeping them rows. Try to keep This is a nice one. I got some nice timber out here. Yeah. So we're going to get out of here. I just figured we'll walk back and see what's going on. All right. What